All right. First and foremost, I want to start off by saying, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Kol Hola Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai Ba Shem Raka Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS, Great Millstone, who rule well and who taught me this truth. And I shalom to you, sincere Akiyam, out there listening, learning, and pushing this truth. And shalom to the few sincere Akwath that are out there listening and learning as well. With that being said, Adawan Ratazadis be edifying. As usual, I'm going to go into Raka Kwadash. And this is going to be a quick one. Uh, it shouldn't be too long. I just had uh, one scripture that I wanted to bring out. Um, Psalms chapter... What is that? 78? Yeah, Psalms chapter... Uh, Salakia, yeah, Psalms chapter 79. Uh, as you can see, it reads, uh, A lament over the destruction of Jerusalem, Jerusalem. A, it says, and a prayer for help. Again, I just wanted to go into Psalms chapter 79. Um, I was reading, doing a little bit of reading as usual for myself, and um, this 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 Psalms uh, was just supping with me, so I said, let me put it uh, in the ether. I don't want Ratazah to be uh, exhorting and comforting and edifying to the body of Yasharala, all right, the hopeful elect, and um, I'm I'm just gonna go through the spirit. I, I'm gonna try to just read it all the way through. I might interject here and there if the spirit permits. But I'm going to read it in the um, KJV all the way through. And then I'll read it in the NLT. It pretty much breaks itself down. It's self-explanatory. But, you know, it's it was a powerful, powerful prayer, you know. And we know Jerusalem, we're a people before a place. And we're scattered amongst the four corners of the earth. But the bulk of us are in the Americas, right? The land of the north, America, Babylon, the great, spiritually, Sodom and Egypt. That's where the, um, the, ma the main deliverance is going to be from America, Babylon the Great. But we're also scattered amongst the four corners of the earth. And Yahweh Shai HaMashiach is coming to gather the elect from the four winds, you know, from the four corners of the earth. But, um, you know, like I said, it was just supping with me, man. So uh, without further ado, uh, I'm going to get through it. Let's, let's run through it. You know, I don't want to write this out again. It'll be edifying, exhorting to the elect and comforting. So this is Psalm 79, I'll start at 1, in the KJV first, it says, A Psalm of Asaph, okay, O power, Yahweh, the heathen are come into thine inheritance, thy holy temple have they defiled, they have laid Jerusalem, Jerusalem on heaps, the dead bodies of thy servants have they given to be meat unto the fowls of the heaven. The flesh of thy saints unto the beast of the earth. Their blood have they shed like water round about Jerusalem, Jerusalem, and there was none to bury them. We are become a reproach to our neighbors, a scorn and derision to them that are round about us. How long, Lord Yahweh, will thou be angry forever? Shall thy jealousy burn like fire? Pour out thy wrath upon the heathen. These other nations, these other 17 nations, starting with uh, Esau Edom, our chief adversary. Pour out thy wrath, their, his indignation, his righteous anger upon the heathen that have not known thee. And upon the kingdoms that have not called upon thy name, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. For they have devoured Jacob, Yaquab, and laid waste his dwelling place. O oh, remember not us, uh, O oh, remember not against us former iniquities. Let thy tender mercies speedily prevent us, for we are brought very low. Help us. O power, Yahweh of our salvation, for the for the glory of thy name, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and deliver us and purge away our sins. That's what Yahweh Shai is coming with, healing in his wings. He's coming to take away that that uh that stony heart, okay, and give us the fleshy heart. 
the new covenant, the laws put in our inward parts. We're not going to go off anymore, okay? Help us. That's what we're waiting on, you know, for that change, that glorious change. Our Redeemer, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, help us, O Yahweh, power of our salvation, for the glory of thy name. He's going to save us for his namesake and deliver us and purge away our sins for thy namesake. Therefore, it says, wherefore should the heathen say, where is their power? Let him be known among the heathen in our sight by the, by the revenging of the blood of thy servants, which is shed. Let the scion of the prisoner come before thee. According to the greatness of thy power, preserve thou those that are appointed to die. The elect man, we are killed all the day long for your how for the you know for your how but you shy. And render unto our neighbors, these heathens, you know, that are confederate against us. Psalms 83. And render, what does it mean to render? To pay back, recompense. And render unto our neighbors sevenfold into their bosom their reproach wherewith they have reproached thee, O Lord Adawan. So we, thy people, and sheep of thy pasture will give thee thanks forever. We will show forth thy praise to all generations. Hey, so like I said, that was just, I don't even really need to interject, man. You know, this, it was just something with me. You know, I said, let me just put this vibration out in the ether, you know? So I'm going to read it again in the NLT and I'll close out. You know, it's pretty much self-explanatory. All right. So it says, O power, pagan nations, right? These heathens. And uh, <laughs> it's funny that it says pagan nations because we're living in what? The revival of what? The Roman Empire. And not the Holy Roman Empire, but the pagan Roman Empire. Okay. You know? O Yahweh, pagan nations have conquered your land. Yeah, because a bastard shall dwell in Ashdod, you know, Amalek, you know, imposters, you know, culture vultures, you know. Oh, Yahweh, pagan nations have conquered your land, your special possession, and uh, uh, your people also, you know. They have defiled your holy temple and made Jerusalem, Jerusalem a heap of ruins. You know, we're, we become a degenerate vine, a proverb and a byword, you know, spoiled. They have left the bodies of your saints as food for the birds of heaven. You know, that it says the flesh, the flesh of your of your godly ones has become food for the wild animals. You know, they going back to the Roman Colosseums. That's who was in those Colosseums. The followers of, of Hamashiach, the so-called Christians, because it tells you that the Jews were first called Christians in Antioch. That's who was in those Colosseums being fed to lions and bears, you know, to this day, you know, they then uh, fast forward uh, during slavery. They would they would uh, chase us down with fucking their their hounds, their dogs, you know, and tear us apart, you know. They'd feed our, our babies to, to alligators, gator bait. They'd hang us. They'd mutilate us and just leave us out there. I saw the brother, a uh, brother, couple brothers were speaking on it. Um, they just, I forget, I think it was in Mississippi. You know, they just uh, discovered that um, a, 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 a so-called pauper's grave was found behind the prison. Shallow graves, you know, with, with, with no fucking name, just numbers on them, you know. And, and and they they discovered the the pauper's grave, um, because what the smell the stench it was so shallow that, you know the the buzzards and shit was flying over, you know, you know, but that's the curses for our disobedience, you know, and that shows hatred like the brothers was going into, you know, and and the, you know the the hatred of Esau against his brother Jacob, they have left the bodies of your servants, as food for the birds of heaven. But guess what? The same thing gonna happen for you. Sevenfold as I read earlier. You're gonna drink double of this cup, man, the dregs of it. You know? Hey, Yahweh Bashimi Hawashai, 
uh, promise the, the fowls of the air a supper. They're going to eat the flesh of kings and princes. They have left the bodies of your servants as food for the birds of heaven. The flesh of your godly ones has become food for the wild animals. Blood has flowed like water all around Jerusalem. Jerusalem. One, it says, no one is left to bury the dead. We are mocked. Yeah, proverbs and bywords. Niggers, spicks, wetbacks, coons, you know, skins. We are mocked by our neighbors. An object of scorn and derision to those around us. They clap their hand, they, you know, and hiss. Oh, Lord, Yahweh, how long will you be angry with us? Forever? And we know that's a rhetorical question because the scriptures tell you, no, he's not going to keep his anger forever. The punishment of our iniquity is accomplished. He's about to visit uh, the daughter of Edom. OK, you see, he will have mercy on Jacob and yet choose Israel. That's the good news. That's the gospel. Our bid is up. OK, and he's about to recompense all our adversaries. You know, all them that devoured us shall be a prey. O oh Lord, Yahweh, how long will you be angry with us? Forever? How long will your jealousy burn like fire? Pour out your wrath on the nations that refuse to acknowledge you or your people. Okay? On kingdoms that do not call upon your name. For they have devoured your people, Israel, Yasharala, making the land a desolate wilderness. Yeah, the so-called Holy Land, the land of Palestine is a wasteland, man. It's defiled, you know, the, the largest happy people parade ever takes place in the so-called Holy Land, Tel Aviv. I call it the stink city. They call it pink city. I call it stink city. All right. But they, they supposed to be the Lord's people. No, heathens are in that land. And you how about you, how should I going to recompense you goddamn devils? Do not hold us guilty for the sins of our ancestors. Let your compassion quickly meet our needs, for we are on the brink of despair. Hey, if Yahweh Bashim Yahushai didn't shorten the days for the elect's sake, no flesh would be saved. Help us, O power, Yahweh, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, power of our salvation. We're prisoners of hope. We're prisoners of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. It tells us that we were in Deuteronomy 28, 68, we were going to Egypt again with ships and no man would save us, would buy us. OK, you know, the only one that's going to save us and deliver us is the same one that put us in this predicament. OK, and that's what we're waiting on. Yahweh Bashim Shai to rise up to the prey, to revenge us speedily. Help us. Yahweh Shai, he, he saves, he delivers. He's about to save and deliver his people from the hands of our enemies. And our chief enemy, our chief adversary is Esau Edom, right along with these other heathen nations that are confederate with him. Help us, O oh Yahweh. We are the ones that need saving from these goddamn heathens. Help us, O oh Yahweh, power of our salvation. Help us for the glory of your name. He put his name upon us. Save us. And forgive our sins for the honor of your name. Yeah, remember that we're just flesh, man. We're flesh. You know? Why should pagan nations, heathens, be allowed to scoff? Asking, where is their power? Show us your vengeance against the nations, for they have spilled the blood of your servants. Starting with the saints. Listen to the moaning of the prisoners. The elect men, starting with the apostles on down, that are diligently, week in and week out, on the highways and the byways and on the on the uh, internet of highways, the unicorn, sighing and crying for all the abominations done therein. Like Elder, Apost uh, like Elder Malcolm says, risking our lives daily to bring you this truth, putting Yahweh Bashim Yahweh in remembrance, you know, making our bodies a living sacrifice upon this altar, which is America. Hey, guess what? Our, our cries, our prayers, our supplications, they're not falling upon deaf ears. Our prayers, our cries will be answered. You know, 
listen to the moaning of the prisoners because, hey, they held us captive and refused to let us go. Demonstrate your great power by saving those condemned to die. And he's going to do that. That's how he's going to show his might, his love for for uh, Jacob, for Israel. Jacob, have I loved? Esau, have I hated? How is he going to say show his love for Yasharala? When he, when he, when he, uh, the straightness of our salvation, when he redeemed us with a mighty arm, a strong arm, you know, you know, just like we took, he, he, he built ancient Pharaoh up, he puffed him up, hardened his heart, you know, to, to do us so that he could show his might when he took him down. The same thing is going to happen again with the modern day Pharaoh, the king of Babylon, you know. Hey, that's you're gonna see the love of Yahweh Bashim Shai, the way he redeems us, sets us on high, and the way he's gonna punish these heathens. You know, pour out his indignation, his wrath. Then you're gonna, we're gonna be praising Yahweh Bashim Shai, Brakatha Yahweh Bashim Shai, call Hala Yahweh Bashim Shai. You know, worthy to be praised, man. We can't wait for that day. Adawan Rataza, hey, man, hey, 2024, the hopeful year of Jacob Trouble. Demonstrate your great power by saving those condemned to die. Like I always say, this is an underdog story. We are the underdogs. We are the protagonists. Esau Edom is the antagonist. We are the good guys. They are the bad guys. Lord Adawan, pay back our end. It says, Lord Adawan, it says, O oh Lord Adawan, pay back our neighbors seven times for the scorn they have hurled at you. Then we, your people, the sheep of your pasture, will thank you forever and ever, praising your greatness from generation to generation. So, hey, man, with that being said, Adawan Ratazad, this was edifying, exhorting and comforting to the elect, man. Hey, man, keep pushing, keep fighting, man, keep fighting the good fight of faith. We're close. Our redemption is nigh. Shalom. Wa Abad Babal. Quam Nesharala.